son to sleep. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like looking over there. He's sleeping. We're outside. But I'm going to move him inside. Once he gets more settled in. So. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> Started crying just a little while ago because I was kind of like overwhelmed with just life and being a parent and everything. You never get that feeling. You know, single moms out there, people out there doing it all by themselves. It's like, sometimes you get like that, like, overwhelmed just stuff that goes on. It's like, can't catch a break, you know, and you go, moms don't get sick days, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it kind of sucks, but then you look at your kid and you look at how good you did that day being a mom, you know, and you it's just a good feeling that you know that you did something good, you know what I mean? Um, even though there's like times where you're just like really overwhelmed and you know you don't have your privacy anymore, you don't have anything, all you have is your kid and it's like, I don't know. I don't see how people can have more than one kid, like, yeah, so... With the whole thing with that, um, my insurance is not going to pay for me to get any big procedure for birth control. The only thing I, I can really get on right now since I got off the IUD, because I got off the IUD for hormones, because the hormones were too strong for me. They made me a raging bitch, and they just were not good. Excuse me. Now, my insurance will only pay for me to have either the pill, which I can't take because I smoke, or the double shot, which I want to get that done, but I have to, you know, I have period, and it's kind of hard to have my family take me right now for that. Um, I most likely will get on that, but I'm going to get my tubes tied um, once he turns five. I can do that. So that's when the IUD is supposed to run out, you know, five years. It was a great birth control, but it just, like, made me, like, a raging, you know what, worse than I am. And I just couldn't handle the hormones of it. So, I most likely am either going to get my teeth tied or I'm going to get on the 10-year non hormonal IUD. I most likely will probably get my teeth tied. Your teeth tied, you can get them untied and have a baby that way, so it's not like... They actually asked me, like, right after I had him if I wanted to get my tubes tied. And I told them no because I didn't know that much about it. And I didn't know that you could have kids, like, after you get them untied. But, yeah, doing that, um, you know, getting on that kind of birth control. Of course, I want to keep using protection because you can't trust everybody. But I just, for me and everything. I'm not ready for any kids, even though I have baby fever sometimes, and I'm like, oh my god, I want another one. Yeah, that would not be good. I told my brother today, I said, you know, if I do get married or something, I am going to try for another kid, you know what I mean? Because my family was like, you can't have, you shouldn't have any more kids, you know. You can barely handle having your kid and all this stuff, and you know. I've always honestly dreamed about having a little girl, like after, you know, but... It's like, I don't want to be, like, in a serious, like, marriage or something to have another kid. Um, I sometimes feel like I have another kid when I babysit my nephew. So it's kind of like I get to see that thing of having another kid. But it's like I don't have to, like, deal with him 24 hours a day or anything like that. So, um, so, but I just don't want any pregnancy scares or anything. Even though I just, just do not have any sexual relationship with anybody, 
you know, I don't even get laid or anything like that, which I could if I wanted to, but I decide, you know, I'd rather just wait. But, um, yeah, like my, I don't need no pregnancy scares or anything, so I'm going to get on birth control and, um, all that, so, but I've been off my birth control for about six months now, um, maybe longer than that, so, um, so yeah, and once he turns five is when I can get it, another procedure, so, whenever the IUD is supposed to be run out, then my my insurance will pay for another one, so, but, um, doing that, I'm gonna have to be, like, on, like, you know, heavy pain pills and everything, so I tell my brother that, and he's like, okay, so he's willing to help me out with my son when that happens, so, um, my brother's actually getting his tonsils taken out, um, because they're really big, they're, like, overlapping each other, so he's gonna be getting his tonsils taken out, he's like, yeah, well, I'm getting a big operation soon, so, but, um, I'm like, yeah, but it's my vagina, I'm like, yeah, but, um, but, I don't know, I kind of regret taking the IUD out, even though, like, I really don't have a need for it right now, you know what I mean, without being sexual and all that, and I honestly, I know this is team, I have honestly not had a lot of guys finish, if you know what I mean, without a condom. So, not going to be disgusting with it, but I have not. Um, but, yeah, like, I just think that comes with somebody that you love, you know what I mean? Like, somebody that you actually have big feelings for. Same thing with sex, you know, it should be somebody, somebody that you actually, like, care for and have a relationship with and, you know, all that. I don't think it's, it's just... You don't want awkward awkwardness with it, you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. Um, but that's just how I see it. Thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys.